Hello, this is Tyler Ford, Tucson, Arizona with eXp Realty, and welcome to this episode of Living in Tucson, your Tucson Real Estate Connection. And in this episode, I'm gonna talk about how to make your home stand out in the MLS when listing it, and why professional real estate photos are so important when listing your home for sale. If you're thinking about selling your home, there's one corner that you absolutely do not want to cut, and that is making sure that you get professional photos done of your home. 100% of your first showing is online. In today's day and age, uh, I would say 100% of the people are looking online in order to see which homes that they're interested in. And uh, having really, really good photos is going to make your home stand out, which is going to create more people to want to see it, which then is going to get you the most amount for your home. So when you're talking to your agent or interviewing agents, the one question you want to ask is, talk to me about the photos that you're going to use and making sure that they're going to hire a professional photographer. Uh, and I'm going to be interviewing Sean, and he's a professional home photographer here in Tucson, in my opinion, uh, the best. And we're going to walk you through what you can do to prepare so you've got great photos and then just the process and how long it takes. So I uh, hope you enjoy my interview with Sean. Hello, Tyler Ford coming at you. And like I explained in the introduction, uh, getting professional photos up front before listing your home and selling it is so, so important. And I've got Sean Spedberg with me, and uh, he's my photographer of choice. And we were talking about this before we started, we hit record. Sean's been at it for about 11 years in Tucson, and he was one of the first photographers here in Tucson. And how I found him is uh, he had an internet presence, and I Googled, you know, Tucson real estate photographers, and up popped Sean, and uh, it started uh, what is going on. Uh, Sean's been at it for 11 years. And in my opinion, he is the best photographer here in Tucson. So again, can't emphasize how important it is to get uh, professional photos done up front. Uh, but what I'm going to do with Sean is just kind of walk you through the process so you'll know what to expect. So first off, welcome, Sean. Thanks for joining me and, and sharing your valuable information to help people get their homes listed uh, and get top dollar. So Let's talk a little bit about what do you want people to do in order to prepare to get their home set up correctly so you, you take the very best photos? Well, Tyler, I, I appreciate the, uh, the opportunity to speak with you today about, about uh, what it is I do for home, uh, the home sale process as far as the photos. Uh, one thing I love to do is to send an email uh, preparation letter uh, to the homeowner so that they're prepared so they don't have that uh, deer in the headlight look, you know, when I show up to, with the, my camera and tripod ready to go. Uh, but basically it's, you know, ways to have your home ready because people aren't selling their home every day. They're not like a professional like yourself where you know what needs to be done, but they don't necessarily know. So we're trying to, we're trying to help prepare them in such a way that they, uh, you know, maybe they've uh, put some things in the garage because uh, typically I don't shoot in the garage so they can, uh, hide things there or just have the home photo ready. And, mm -hmm. and it might not be necessarily how they always have it uh, every day of the week, but at least for the photos so that we can, you know, have a nice look to the home, uh, nice uh, curb appeal, not only from the outside, but from the inside as well. And we really want to uh, take these photos and be able to have it uh, to where people can, uh, you know, basically uh, show off their home in a sense Mm -hmm. And uh, because we're trying to help them sell it quickly and for the top amount possible and professional photos will help you do that. It's basically, let's say, you know, you're going to have a dinner party at your home or something and you want to have everything neat and put away. Obviously, things like in the bathroom, you're, you're not going to have the electric toothbrush and the, and the bars of soap sitting on the counter, those kind of things. Um, you know, basically, if there's things that you you can store away and, and keep it simple, you know, mm -hmm. they definitely want to keep it simple. So that when people see the uh, the photos, they're not being distracted too in the photos. They're just being able to picture themselves looking in that beautiful home and saying, hey, I, I could picture myself living here. Uh, let's call the realtor. Let's call Tyler and uh, see about setting up a showing. Well, I like the fact that you send that email out in terms of, you know, because as agents, we try to counsel and coach people 
but uh, a lot of times, you know, it's better coming from the source. So even though, you know, we, we tell people how to prepare that email that Sean sends out and it's also on his website. And at the end of this, at the end of the interview, we're going to give you his contact information, but all that information is also on his website, which would help you prepare. So let's say photos are scheduled. You've got your home prepared, ready to go. Um, what could somebody expect in terms of time? And this is the big question that I get. Can they stay at the home when you're doing the photo show, shoot? So walk us through like the process, what you do, whether they can stay there or not, and, and how long it takes you typically. Certainly. So uh, one of the things is if you have pets, uh, we shoot a lot of homes with, with homes of pet lovers and and that's great. They just don't photograph well because they don't always take good direction of where to stand still and those kind of things. So a lot of times, if either the pet is maybe at a uh, at a friend's house or maybe in another room at the same time, uh, if they have pet toys or baby toys and things like that, have those you know have those put out of the way. And we're just really trying to showcase the home as best as possible. Mm -hmm. And so by doing that, by having various things ready. So, for example, uh, like I was saying, you know, toothbrush off the, off the counter, um, paper towel holder in the middle of the counter, put that away. Uh, various, you know, if you have game consoles sitting on the, the coffee table, have those put away. And just basically really trying to show off your home uh, so that when I come in, usually about an hour and a half or so, uh, maybe a little bit less than that for a typical uh, about 2,500 square foot house or less. The thing that usually takes the most time is if I can just walk in, you've got the lights on, the blinds open, and I can just, the best case scenario is I can walk in and just start shooting the photos from the various corners of the room and just walk in and get those photos. And then my goal is to then get them processed and back to you as the agent uh, in 24 hours or less so that you can be up and running on MLS. And that's super important as far as quick turnaround time. That's something... And part of that, we don't offer, you know, any kind of twilight or golden hour shots anymore because of the fact we do have the 24 hour turnaround. So all the people are watching the sun go down. I'm, I'm processing your photos and trying that's to get them ready for it. Well, that's one thing I like about Sean. You do, if, if your photos are scheduled today, you get them tomorrow. Usually I can't wait to get up in the morning because they're in my email inbox. It's like Christmas. Uh, and uh, it's just an exciting thing. So uh, the other thing I like about Sean, the photo in Sean's background right there, he's got this extension pole. It's not, it's not done by a drone, but he's got this pole that goes up on the back of his car so he can get high up and get some really good photos uh, that are elevated. And, and the background photo that Sean's got there uh, is from his, what, what do you call that? So you've got an extension rod that gets you up high up in the air so you can shoot some good photos and yeah it's a uh, it's a, a carbon fiber aerial pole and i've got an adapter hooked to the back of my jeep mm -hmm. uh, suv so that i can put i usually put the camera it's about right about 19 feet in the air i don't typically go any higher than that because you know when you're that close in the street to the home you go any higher and you're just going to see tile roof and not necessarily the front yard and those kind of things right but it, it gives you a perspective i've had many people ask me hey what kind of drone do you use uh, in, in fact it's not probably uh, same question. I, I don't even have a drone like Tyler does, uh, but it's a matter of being able to have the, the get the shots that we need. And basically, every time I move my Jeep in various, you know, five or six different places out in the street um, and it's quiet, so it doesn't bother the neighbors. Uh, and I and it's electronically it's a motorized head at the top of the pole. So I can control my iPhone sitting in the front seat and really makes it nice to be able to really hone in on where the picture is. Uh, you know, as far as frame and, and a good composition. But if somebody wanted to reach out to you, uh, let's say they're, they haven't chosen their agent yet and they want to just be prepared. So when they do decide the list, they're ready to go. Cause um, you know, listing a home without photos is the biggest mistake that anybody could ever make. So in order to be prepared and ready to go, if somebody wanted to reach out to you, Sean, and uh, schedule a shooting, how could somebody contact you? Well, it's, uh, we tried to create a name that's very uh, descriptive of what we do. It's Tucson, which is where we are, Homes is what we're photographing, and photography. So it's TucsonHomesPhotography.com, TucsonHomesPhotography.com, and that'll take you right to their website. Uh, any of the pages on our website, if you scroll down, has our calendar in, in real time. 
so that you can click it on and see what our availability is. It's a great listing tool. So you can be in the middle with Mr. and Mrs. Jones in a listing appointment, say, hey, I've got my photographer, Sean, scheduled right here. And you can scroll on your phone or your iPad right in front of them. Hey, let's uh, see about scheduling a time uh, to be able to have them come shoot the photos. Yeah, and it's a really easy. And the other nice thing about his, uh, when you order it, it's got ties right into Google Calendar. So if you're the agent, you'll have your email, but you'll all have, also have the contact information of the seller. So they get that information as well, uh, which makes it nice as an agent because it takes a lot of the work out of it for us. Sean sends over that email with a list of the things that they need to, need to do. So he's got a really good online portal for ordering photos. So uh with that, I just want to say thanks. And uh, again, Sean, in my opinion, is the best guy in Tucson. And uh, there's nothing more. I mean, the, the number one thing, in my opinion, that you need to do when selling your home is get professional photos and not cut corners when it comes to the photography. So I uh, just want to say thanks, Sean. Well, thank you, Tyler. You're, you're too kind. Uh, you said that exactly how I wrote it down. No, I'm kidding. But I appreciate <laughs> uh, I appreciate that. And uh, I appreciate people like yourself that are realizing the importance of high quality photos. They're not leaving any money on the table. They're not, uh, they're basically doing a great service for the home homeowner and not just based on, uh, well, we'll, we only do professional photos if your house is this much or this much. I mean, quite frankly, Tyler does them for all of his listings. uh, That impresses me as well. Yeah, there's no, it just, yeah, regardless, I mean, your first showing is online. So it doesn't really, it doesn't matter because you want to get the highest and best for the house, regardless of the home. So, Absolutely. I Absolutely. Mean, photos for any home are, are so important. So appreciate you, Sean. And uh, thanks for doing this with me today. Hope you enjoyed the video with Sean. And again, I can't emphasize it enough. It's so important to get professional photos done when selling your home. And keep this in mind, if you use us to sell your home, we're actually gonna pay for the photos for you. So we can go in, get it scheduled, pay with our credit card. Again, it will be scheduled at, at your convenience. Uh, so just keep that in mind. The other thing that we can provide for you, which could save you some money, is we have a 16-foot box moving truck. No different that you would get at U-Haul. Uh, if you use us to buy or sell a home, you can use the truck for free. So hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give us an internet high five by liking it. You can comment below and you can also subscribe. Uh, and in the show notes below, there's going to be the various links. There's a link to Sean's website where you can learn a little bit more. So again, if you have any questions, comment below. Thank you.